Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number three. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, here we go. We are taking part in the Hot Hatch Runoff. Uh, first place prize is a Renault Clio. I really liked the Renault Clio, actually. Uh, and we are starting off with the Diamondback, Inland Taipan, and then the Malayan Crate, whatever that is. Uh, we're taking the Focus ST, but this time uh, we've we've got something a little bit different. And uh, the weird thing that we have with this car... Bright fucking ping. <laughs> Yeah, we got a we got a challenge to uh, have the bright pink Ford Focus. So, sure, why not? Pink for days, pink for days. Bright pink Ford Fiesta, even though it's not a Fiesta, it's a Focus. <laughs> cool. I've managed to mess that up today now. Yeah, I can't wait for the new Need for Speed either. It's going to be awesome. I love this song. This is a good song. Not to south. Empty. Running on. Bravado. As if to say, as if to say, as if to say, he doesn't like chocolate. He's born a liar, he'll die a liar. Some things will never be different. Meow, meow, meow. Stop being. Mm -hmm. So, American, there's a time and there's a place. Don't like need to be payback because the missions are hard. They're not actually that hard. As long as you're taking the right car. If the car is the same level as what's recommended, they're easy. Even on hard difficulty, they're fairly easy. If you're taking a car that's well below the recommended, like even 20 below recommended can be quite challenging. So you just got to make sure you've actually upgraded your car, got in your... Uh, go to the upgrade shop, make sure you're buying whatever upgrades are available, and just making sure your car is above that recommended number. Three out of five. When a company offers me a better price after I cancel their subscription, they just admit it and they were overcharging me. That's how business works nowadays. So stuff like Spotify, they'll never overcharge you. They'll just charge you what they want to charge you. Um, companies like broadband providers, honestly, internet providers in the UK are scumbags. BT, Virgin Media, whoever else does internet, you're all scumbags. I basically just uh, solidified the fact that I don't want a sponsorship or anything like that or a partnership from them. Don't care. They are scumbags, because they go out of their way to effectively steal money from people. They'll increase prices, like, even as much as I have a Vodafone contract, it was the cheapest option at the time. They also do the same thing. They are scumbags. And it's the reason why I don't want to work at Vodafone. I've been offered many roles there, but I just can't put myself forward into stealing money from people. It just is wrong in my head. Because I know the company itself will go and they overcharge ridiculously. I mean, I've been charged a pound extra a month on my contract for something I didn't want. So, and that I didn't even know was going to be a charged for thing. And then a, a week after, uh, well, the month after my contract started. So my price was th £33 a month, but I got 60% discount. 
So it went down to like 1350. A month after it started, right? So bearing in mind, I'm in a contract where I've got to pay this amount of money a month. They've now increased that contract price. To, um, I believe I'm now paying £16 a month, including my discount. Which means originally would be 40 quid for my data. It's ridiculous. Uh, so we've now got a 10% discount on anti-roll bars. Nice. Alright, this is it. Race number two. Beep. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, so... Obviously, like... <laughs> speak of the devil, there's Vodafone. <laughs> no, but... I understand that prices need to go up. At some point. But also... We're in a world where our infrastructure is getting better by the year. Every year we have an alternative that is... At minimum, 25% better than what last year offered. So if a company is going to do a price rise, they have to offer you a higher service product. So by all means, if your internet provider turned up and said, here, you can stick with your current contract, that is fine, but we have an offer for you. If you pay us an extra £5 a month and we give you, instead of 100 megabits a second, we give you... 250 by all means that's fine but they can't price rise stuff that you're already paying for it's an extremely crappy thing And unfortunately, the government, right, I don't want to get into politics because I really can't be bothered, but this has to be said. The government, this is the thing. So I was always under the impression that government was supposed to um, support, like, the people of the country. So our government was supposed to help and make laws for the people of Britain, right? But it just seems like they... Are trying to fuck over the entire of Britain. Really weird. You've got like 200 mem 200, 300 odd members of parliament that go to fucking House of Commons every week and they think of things to fuck us over. <laughs> That's basically what it is. So. Uh. That's fair enough, though, Aaron. Yeah. The fact is, the companies that do stuff like this rely on people not being upfront and confrontational. So confrontational people, as much as it is a really shitty thing to do, because it's like, if you phone up customer services and you absolutely shit on the person at the other end of the line. You're a bit of a dick. But there becomes a point where companies are putting their own customer service people under that fire because they're doing really crappy policies and changing prices for these things. Like, at some point, I sort of do condone people going and ripping into someone. Obviously not, like, to a personal level, but, like, Standing their ground on a phone call saying I'm not taking this price rise that I didn't give permission for because it is theft <laughs> It's borderline theft It is ridiculous Hey, not bad 2100 We're now level 8 we got the fair. Oh We got new fair lady Z production models available in the Nissan dealership. I'll take it. I like the fair lady It's quite nice. All right, here we go Race number... I think this is race number three now. Pandy is back from singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. <laughs> What's up, Pandy? How are you today? 
Welcome to the stream. Say you're sorry. You don't have to live with the heartache you keep. Because I don't need no apology. It's actually really bad rain. Jesus. Why is it sunny here? It's actually too fucking hot here. If I'm going to be totally honest. Really horribly warm. I don't like it. I'm a fan of warm weather when it's comfortable. When there's a breeze, there's everything. But this is just disgusting. <laughs> I'm doing good, Paddy. I'm doing good. Uh, maybe not. Ah, I'm in the dirt. Keep it going. What is that horrible exhaust placement? I know, it's really bad. And I'll be perfectly honest. I'll put on a rear diffuser. To hopefully get a little more downforce in some of the corners. Because I didn't like the look of the... The rear wing. So I wanted the diffuser. And uh, it also includes that exhaust placement. And it's not great. Not bad. Been a while since I've been down this section of road. Do you know what would make Forza Motorsport 8? I don't know what it's going to be called, actually. I think it's just called Forza Motorsport. But uh, do you know what would actually make it really good? Is, um... If they add a lot of the old tracks. It's been in development for five years. So, to be perfectly honest, they should have had plenty of time to add new tracks. Somewhere in the world, there is somebody with your dream job that hates going to work every day. Do you know what my dream job would be? Other than content creation? Because content creation means I'm my own boss. That kind of thing. But, um... <laughs> I wouldn't mind being a games tester. Like, if if that could be an actual job for me. The only problem is, right, games testing isn't really applicable as, a, like, a full-time paid job. Like, where I'll get, like, 25 grand a year kind of vibe. Like, I'd love to do, like, games testing for racing games and stuff like that. Be able to put my opinions across and stuff like that. I hope you know you don't have to say you're sorry. You don't have to live with the heartache you keep. Do you know what I do find? Um, what I wouldn't like. So if I ever became... Like, stumbled across a lot of money either through work or... Um, like, making a business or content creation or whatever, I wouldn't not be able to stop working. No, I wouldn't be able to stop working. I'd have to keep working and doing stuff. I don't know. It just seems like a weird thing to... Oh, I've got a lot of money now. I could stop working and retire at like 30. I think I'd have to keep working. I'm that kind of person. I quite enjoy it. Hey, we got a clear sport. Which I believe is mid-engined as well. If I'm not mistaken. So that means... We can take it for our next event. Uh, which is part of the Amateur Cup. Oh no, that's mid-engined for level 5. This is the inline 4. Gotcha. Right. Uh, we're going to take the Lancia Delta then. Let's go with it. Uh, first event is Sakuba Circuit, then Maple Valley, which we've just seen 
that become absolutely remastered to hell for Forza Motorsport 8 and looks absolutely stunning in that game. And then Silverstone, back to uh, lovely old Britain. So let's get going. I pressed start race, but I forgot to start recording. Oh, well. It looks really gloomy, actually, this. Look at the weather. The clouds are all overcast. Personally, I prefer banana, but you can't buy it from a store. What? Banana ice cream? Not actually heard of banana ice cream. Well, I've obviously heard of it, because, like, you've... It's kind of, like, an obvious thing. But, like... Yeah, no. I don't know. There we go. Tongue that has a nice ice cream parlor with the best banana ice cream ever. Ooh. Andy, I may have to try that. That sounds really nice. What's that noise? What do you mean, what's that noise? I don't know. Oh, this is one of the new Block Party songs. <laughs> if you go, bring me with. Yes, because I'm going to go all the way. I, I'm going to go like three hours away just to get banana flavored ice cream. I like that. This place is bloody worth it. How much is it though? Is it like... 25 quid for a scoop of ice cream? Something daft like that. That's what I imagine it to be. £3.75 for four scoops. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. I 100% would have four scoops. Lickety split. Talk to a T to me. Why did I save that replay? I don't want that replay. Fuck. Right, let's continue. Two and a half grand. We're now level nine and we've got some more Camaro products in the dealership. All right, here we go. Next race. Maple Valley. This is the first time we've come to this track in this game. I think we had a really bad start then. The engine just sort of like stopped. <laughs> Chasing our crazy dreams. Give me the thing, a baby rocket like that. Give me the thing, a baby rocket like that. This track was heavily inspired. Wow, well, I don't know, heavily inspired, but it was definitely inspired by. Um, 
What's it called? Brands Hatch Hindu Circuit. It's basically Brands Hatch Hindu, but not Brands Hatch Hindu. You know why I really love the sound of this car? One by one, let me see ya. Two by two for the sequel. Three by three for my people. Uh, Major Lazer's new songs aren't as great as they used to be. Some of these older ones were much better. Which is why it was used in so much advertising and stuff like that, because they were so popular. New songs aren't that great. Aren't as good as they used to be. It might still be good. No, not quite there. Two for my people. Yo, Wolfie4586, what up, welcome! How are you today? Welcome to the uh, shit show, as we call it here. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy it. Even now their old songs are overlooked. Yeah, they don't come up in recommended on like streaming apps anymore. They very rarely get played by the radio. That wolfy. Yeah. That's how I imagine that sound sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> Chandelier. By the way, how's the uh, audio sounding? How's the game audio, the music audio, everything sounding? Does anything need to be turned up, turned down? Feel free to let me know. Can't hear music. Fair enough. We'll turn the music up a tad. That should be much better. There we go. 2,300. Not bad. All right, here we go. Silverstone, last race of whatever cup this is. I think this is the inline four. Oh. Charming. Is that a new Wolfie? Uh, might be. You never know. No, 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 no. It's definitely a different Wolfie to the Wolfie that we know. Ah, oh, this is the shit. Fox Stevenson. I never understood. Not bad. What ice cream is it? Is it like Hagen Dazs or something? Hagen Dazs ice cream is fucking lit. Or Ben and Jerry's. Anything else is mediocre. Well, uh, maybe not mediocre. Aldi's ice cream, though. Aldi's own brand is like £1.50 for a tub. And it tastes like Ben and Jerry's. I'm not even joking. It's killer. Cart door. Uh, yeah, cart door's not. Mm, mm, I don't know. What you go like? Oh my god, Aaron, you are legendary. <laughs> what you go like Yeah, I'm not a great fan of the crew 2 anymore. It um they've tried to keep it alive. But the ha the physics model just isn't great. I'm not into the extremely arcade based physics model that that's got. Like it's more arcade than Need for Speed, the crew. It's just not enjoyable to drive in. 
the fact that they for a game that's got a map that size to not even support wheel setup properly to have like proper force feedback proper degree rotation for the wheel it just makes it unenjoyable so watch it go like I don't know why my muscle memory was like yep yeah, gotta go through Maggots and Beckett's there I might enjoy Crew 3 a bit more as long as they change it and actually put effort in but no Ubisoft eh, probably not to the point I'm actually gonna refund my fucking money for Ubisoft Plus Quest for meaning it's an urgency feeling. Do you know, I'm the opposite though. I enjoyed the crew too when it came out. Up until about the two year mark. And then I went off it because they added too much stuff. <laughs> yeah, but Siege, meh. Not a great fan of it at the moment. Anyways, I'm kind of broke bitch. I can't afford shit. I've got like ten pounds to my name. That's got to last me till the end of the month, till the third July. <laughs> I forgot to record this part, but uh, we've got the Viz Racing Integra Type R that we've unlocked, which uh, is quite a beautiful car. I think I use this quite a lot in Motorsport One, so it's good to see it make a return. That's for sure. Lovely car. Um. We're going to go and select another event. And we're going to go to the boosted shootout. Uh, this is for turbocharged vehicles. And we start off with Sebring International Raceway, Suzuka Circuit, and then finish off with Maple Valley. And we are going to swap out into the Ford Focus. So let's get cracking. All right, we're starting this event uh, in third. And we have a similar performance points to the Dodge SRT4 in front of us. Um... Do you know what? That's a really fucking good point. So uh, Aaron in chat here has made a point saying uh, vehicles today can surf the web, link to your phone, stream music and videos, etc. But still cannot perform a simple database lookup to tell you what the check engine light is on for. And that's a good shout. Because a lot of engines, they know what the light is for. But when you... You have to connect a special computer to it for then a technician to tell you, oh, it's just a spark plug or something dumb like that. So engines, they're clever enough. Even engines back from 1990s were clever enough to tell you what was wrong with them when something went wrong. But they've never added that functionality into a car to allow a consumer to troubleshoot their own vehicle. Wow, I just got absolutely brake checked. And now my Ford Focus ST is uh, spluttering smoke everywhere. Charming. Bing, 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 bing. Bam, bam, bam. Onto lap numero dos. MS DOS. I really hope the car manufacturers can. Because I think Tesla is one of the few cars that actually tells you what's wrong with the bloody thing when something goes wrong. One of the few cars that does it. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, bing. 
<laughs> Did you not send the one for Pandy in chat? Fair enough. Uh, Coolio, 1,900. Not too bad. Hello, I've been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. It has expired and you are driving illegally in the country of the UK. Probably. Who knows? <laughs> Let's get going. Sukuba Circuit. Lovely track this is. Reaching out for something to hold. This is a beautiful song. I've woken up over 10,000 times and I'm still not used to it. Aaron, you have not woken up over 10,000 times? Unless mathematically speaking, you've slept three times a day. Every day since you were born, you will have not woken up 10,000 times. What I'm searching for. No. Find. Reaching out for something to hold. Welcome new people, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you do enjoy it here, uh, and if you do, feel free to drop a follow, or... <laughs> what the hell was that? Bigsby? You bitch! I cannot believe that. That's just stopped my music and everything. I feel like I've been violated by her. Unbelievable. I will be complaining to Samsung. <laughs> that came out of my speaker this time, so it actually got picked up by the stream. <laughs> I see that I can't find what I'm searching for. No, no. Reaching now for something to hold. Lovely job, Blair. Three minutes, 26.8. Oh, and we got 15 games score because we're now level 10. I'm rich. Here we go, level 10. We've earned 37,000 credits total. Um, we're also getting close to level 2 as well. Uh, Lancia has given us a 1974 Stratos. And we've got a 30% discount on all production cars from Europe. We're going to focus on European cars now. And there you go. The beautiful... Ah! Oh! <laughs> I love the look of the Stratos. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. It just it just get, it gives me tingles. All right. Race number three. I think this is the final race of this episode. If I'm not mistaken and the planning doesn't go to shit. Raising your suspicion. It's 
The one thing I didn't like about Forza Motorsport 1, although it had a lot of content, the content was because of the fact the races were too long. Like 15 minutes for a race for a championship. I would have much rather a, a variety of races where you spend five minutes on each race at the most. That's why I enjoy Fo Forza Motorsport like one, two, and three. Uh, Forza Motorsport two, three, and four. Because this one so far is a lot short, more shorter races. Obviously, the endurance races are good, and I won a couple of long races, and especially for the championships at the end, those should be longer. But for just generic events, should be fairly short in these games. Because if you want to come back to them, you come back to them. There's no harm in that. But to be able to go through and enjoy all of these events and not be forced to like, oh, you've got to do this event for 15 minutes before you can go to the next one. Christmas feels more like a deadline than a holiday. It does. Any holiday feels more like a deadline. Even an actual holiday where you pay a company to go abroad feels like a deadline because you've got to get everything prepared before that day. It does feel like a deadline. Every holiday, not just Christmas. And it is right. And that is a shower thought because it's fairly intrusive. But yes, every holiday is... Oh, wow. Oh, we fucked that one up. Yeah, basically every holiday is a deadline. I don't know why I thought it was four laps. Because the last time we went around this track, it was four laps. 1,700, not bad. Especially after I absolutely smashed the car up. Uh, transmission and driveline upgrades by Ford Racing Parts. These upgrades are available on cars made by Ford and Proto Motors. Interesting. What car did we get? I'm hoping a very nice one. We got a Toyota Deluxe Supra. What's that look like? Is that a Supra? That's not even like a... Is that a Supra? That's like a, it, a genuine question. Is that what some of the Supras look like? Wow, okay. I like the look of it, but wow. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.